Hey VC, what's going on? Um, it's Nate again on a late, well, it's about midnight on a Sunday night. And um, today was the big Atlanta, Georgia uh, record and CD show or tape show. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff, but uh, it was primarily vinyl. And I had a grand old time this morning. After uh, getting out of work and sleeping maybe three and a half, four hours, I got up and drove an hour and a half, two hours north, and uh, went a rummaging. I primarily stayed in the bargain bin section, the uh, people who were selling stuff for, oh, uh, two bucks or a dollar, because um, I found some really good stuff, but I kind of strayed off when I saw something that was really good, and, uh, I, uh, I forked over the, uh, the money to get those. So here goes in, um, is sort of, no, there's no particular order, okay. Um, here we go. George Carlin, A Place for My Stuff, gonna love George. Oh, in the background here, this elevator music, which is actually quite enjoyable, is uh, Bob James and Earl Clue, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I was turned on to them by the guy who runs the honey hole that I go to occasionally, and uh, he said, uh, since I'm in, really into George Benson, especially early to mid to late 70s George Benson, not necessarily in the 80s, uh, try listening to Earl Clue, and uh, I kind of dig it, it's really, really relaxing, very, very good to chill out to. Anyway, onward, um, Jay Giles Band is a promo, oh, actually, and uh, Showtime it is their third live record, the third live record I picked up. Um, of course, I've said it before, their live albums are beyond uh, anything they did in the studio. I mean, okay, Freeze Frame was a really good album, but uh, Peter Wolf's uh, energy is really showing on that one. That's kind of the weakest of the three, but the trifecta is complete. I have all three. Uh, classic Moody Blues, Days of Future Past. Men at Work, Cargo, some fun 80s stuff right there, old Colin Hay, um, Harry Chapin, sequel, um, another Harry Chapin record, On the Road to Kingdom Come, um, these two covers are horrible shape, but, um, I just wanted to get them because they're Joe Walsh, and I love Joe Walsh, uh, James Gang Rides Again, and James Gang Thirds. That's uh, both for a dollar, primarily because the covers were in shit condition. Um, Billy Joel, Glass Houses. Uh, I've, I've always liked Billy Joel. He's very. Ah. Uh, it's quite the American I, uh, icon, I suppose. Um, right on par with this guy. Who toured with Billy Joel some years ago? Elton John in the Friends soundtrack. Um, Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Uh, I love these guys. Um, I used to listen when I was growing up. I was probably 9, 10, or 11 years old. I listened to oldies. That's all I listened to, and they were a staple. Uh, John Mayall, The Turning Point. Uh, really really good album um, from 1969 Bill Bill Graham's Fillmore yeah Fillmore East uh, Tubular Bells Michael Oldfield scary um, the police Zenyatta Mondada and two by this guy Leon Redbone from branch to branch A great uh, jazz Kind of uh, interpret interpreter, I guess. He takes old jazz stuff and plucks his guitar along with it. And this is uh, on the track. Um, 
course, he made his really a big living in the 80s off of uh, all de uh, detergent commercials, and he uh, was set on Saturday Night Live a lot. Todd Rundgren, um, brilliant Todd Rundgren. This is Hermit of the Mink Hollow. Um, Paul Simon, One Trick Pony. This is a great album, too. There's some really good stuff on there. Uh, Steely Dan, uh, for a buck, you cannot go wrong buying a Steely Dan record. Um, no matter what shape the cover is, um, but I, li I listened to it earlier and it's the vinyl is fabulous condition. Fantastic. Stray Cats, built for speed. And uh, Super Tramp, Crime of the Century. There's some good stuff on here. Dreamer and Bloody Well Right. Um, James Taylor, Mudslide Slim. And, and uh, one of my favorite prog rock bands. I don't listen to a lot of prog rock, but it's uh, Yes, um, Close to the Edge. This is this is fantastic. It's phenomenal. I think, uh, and this is the shape that it's in is spectacular. Um, yeah, it's, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, and I got it for a buck. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, okay. So uh, these are, I would call, I would hesitate to call them grails, but they're stuff that I haven't gotten and I've been really looking for. And I, when I saw them, I dove right in, uh, despite the price on some of them. This next one is, was actually the, I listened to it earlier and it sounds fantastic. Um, the cover is torn and worn really badly. Um, I got it for a buck. Stevie Wonder talking book. Um, whoops. It's got Braille right here. It says talking book. And right up here where it says Stevie Wonder. Um, but everybody who has this record already knew that. It's uh, This is a, a just a, an amazing record. The whole from you are the sunshine of my life to I believe uh, when I fall in love it'll be forever um, that was one of my uh, wedding songs uh, my wife and I um, danced to so there's some memory sentimental connection to that song it's also at the end of High Fidelity uh, the movie which is spectacular the, the placement of that this was not necessarily a grail but uh, I picked it up. Uh, New York Dolls. It's Night of the Living Dolls. It's a compilation. It's very good. It's got some really good songs. And the sequencing is different from the original album. Um, so that was a pleasant surprise. I also, for 10 bucks only, uh, five discs of uh, Springsteen, 75 to 85 live. Uh, blown away. And the guy uh, who sold me that, I kind of talked him down on the price on this. So I'm slowly working my way through the official Bruce Springsteen catalog. I don't think I'll ever even dive into the bootlegs because he's one of the most um, bootlegged artists around. Uh, and uh, two more records. I'm going to keep this really just, just under t uh, 10 minutes. Um, Jimmy. Uh, Electric Ladyland, and I didn't really notice, but the, the cover is in kind of bad condition, but the vinyl is uh, mint. It's it's spectacular. And uh, first pressing of Crash Landing. Uh, they, these, there's four um, that were never, excuse me, put out uh, on CD or uh, after a certain time it was discontinued. Uh, Crash Landing being one, uh, War Heroes, and um, I, I don't know, I'm having a brain cramp. I can't remember what the other two are. Um, but that was it. I had a great time. Um, didn't really spend, well, I spent some money, but uh, I, I got what I really wanted, and uh, I'm pretty pleased. So, 
Until next time, I will see you later.